Hey YouTube, I hope everyone's having a really great night. I miss you guys. I've wanted to do a video for probably two weeks now and I just haven't been able to to get good timing with, you know, getting home from work and it's still being light. The lighting's been just, it gets dark so early now, 5 o'clock, 5.30. And so, yeah, I am basically <laughs> forced to do one right now with this type of lighting. So hopefully you guys can bear with me here. I know I'm going to have some complaints, but... I'm forewarning you that the video isn't going to be great lighting, but at least you're going to get to see the products and hear me talk about them. So there's no swatches that are really needed. Um, but this is a haul. So it's a huge haul of stuff that I've collected over about a month or so. So don't think I bought this all at once. It's just a massive collective haul of beauty stuff. So I'm going to jump right into it. There's a bunch of stuff from different places. I have some Sephora friends and family. I have some MAC. So I'm going to go ahead and, and start with three products that I actually got at TJ Maxx. Um, and they are the Shiseido skincare line, uh, the Pureness, which I was really excited about because I had been interested in this. Um, right now, you guys know I use the Obagi. I've talked about that for my acne. It's awesome at keeping my skin at bay. I love it. I would not give that up. So that's holy grail to me. I also use African black soap. And other than that, um, I'll show you one other thing that I've been loving. But other than that... I don't really deviate too much with my skincare just because I do have the acne prone, oily skin. Uh, not so much sensitive, just kind of temperamental. So I was actually talking to a girl that works at Sephora uh, near me, the JCPenney Sephora, and she was really excited because they were getting in, uh, they were getting the Shiseido line in my JCPenney Sephora. And she said she was so excited about it. She loves the line. Her skin's like a baby doll skin. It's so flawless. Um, but I told her about my skin type and everything, and she said that the Pureness line would be good. So I thought, you know, little by little, maybe I'll buy, like, a piece at a time and see if I like it. Because uh, Shiseido does have good reviews on skincare. But um, I didn't have to, because I actually was at TJ's and I saw the stuff there. So I'm going to show you what I got. The first thing I got was the uh, Deep Foam Cleanser. So this is the Pureness Deep Cleansing Foam. Really nice. I've used it a handful of times. There's little beads in it. Very, It's very... Um, it's gentle, it's kind of creamy, but it lathers. I really like it a lot. So it gets the makeup off well. I haven't given up on any of my other stuff. Like, I'll use this maybe in the morning to get, kind of get the stuff from the night before off. Or I'll do it, do this first um, at night to get my makeup off. And then I'll go over my areas where I kind of break out, you know, the hormonal breakouts or on my forehead with the Obagi cleanser. So I'll kind of use it in conjunction. But I love this. So... So far, so good with that. Now, the next thing is the Anti-Shine Refreshing Lotion. And it says lotion, but it is a lotion that's more like a toner. So it's sort of like a tonic. And it's a salicylic acid toner. And I haven't used this yet, just to let you guys know. So I have not tried this yet. Um, but the did I tell you this? The cleanser was only $12.99. Awesome. At TJ's. And then this was $14.99. And the last thing is the Mattifying Moisturizer Oil Free. All of these things, I looked up their reviews before I purchased them, and they get really awesome reviews. So uh, this moisturizer was more expensive. It was $19.99, um, but I think originally it's $35, maybe $38, so I got a deal on it for sure. Um, but I'm really glad that I got to pick these up for cheaper than they are retail. So that is the uh, Shiseido stuff. And then also, I need to take a sip of my coffee. Mm. Okay, so also while I was at TJ Maxx, I saw this. And it is a skincare, sort of gross, blackhead and whitehead extractor. <laughs> I have no idea how to use this. I've never used one. I'll let you guys know. I was just interested in it. Um, and one of the, my friends uh, that works at the regular Sephora, not the JCPenney Sephora, he was telling me about... I don't know if it was Peter Thomas Roth or one of them have like something that's supposed to draw out the impurities. Uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a mask or whatever. And he said that he loves his tool from Bliss. And they used to sell it at Sephora, but they don't now. And so I was interested in looking into the Bliss tool, but I saw this the next day at TJ, so I grabbed it. It was five bucks. Uh, so that's just something random. Now, let me get to Mac. So this is the Christmas or the holiday collection, the Glamour Days, and I picked up several things. Uh, the first thing that I got was Superb. It's the Extra Dimension Skincare Finish. You guys know about this. Sort of rose gold. It came out. It's a re-promote. I didn't get it the first time. I got Whisper of Guilt. I love this. I have um, 
I know that what it's like because I have the eyeshadow that was supposed to be the dupe for this in the same collection that previously was released and I use that all the time actually as a highlight. So as for this color, it's very similar to the eyeshadow. I forget the name of it. It's in my bathroom so I can't grab it. Uh, but I love the color. So I had to grab this and then I got all of the blushes because I couldn't decide on just one. And I got a uh, small vanity and I've been using this one a lot. Here it is. You guys have seen all the swatches. I really don't have to hold them up for you. I'll just show you the one that I love. This is the small vanity and it is so, so pretty. It's kind of a, you can't even see the swatch really, but it's a darker kind of dusty rose color and it's perfect with my skin tone. So I grabbed this one and then the other two as well, which swatch also really nicely on my skin, but I haven't worn them yet. Um, but this is I'm the one and it's the, the pink color. And then the next one is Easy Manner, and it's more of like a beige peach color. And it's so pretty swatched. I didn't know if it would show up on my skin, but actually swatched it looks awesome. I haven't used it on my cheeks yet. But those are the blushes that I got. And then I got three of the lipsticks, um, Innocence. And I, I hate to even, I think a lot of these are sold out. So I know I'm kind of late on the, the wagon with Innocence is like the peach coral. I'm late with showing you guys this stuff, but I don't know. I'm sure eBay and stuff still has it. I wasn't super impressed with this, so I'm not, like, head over heels for it. The the Innocence, it's pretty. It has some pearlescence to it, and I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, but I figure I'll just tell you guys that anyway. So if you missed out on it, I, don't, I wouldn't say, like, go out of your way to get it. But this is Beauty, and this is the one that was kind of the promotional picture, the pink um, again with this one, it's a harder to wear color, so it's not really, really wearable, and it's pretty. I love the girl's picture and the promotion, but do I think you need to really go out of your way or go crazy to get this if you didn't? No. So, that's just my quick review on those. And then Glamour Days, I got it because it kind of was more or less a fall color, and this is Glamour Days, and it's really pretty. This one's beautiful, so... And the formula is more of like a, a sheer. It kind of reminds me of my pink truffle, in a way, my pink truffle lip butter. And I think that's what really drew me to it. Fix this light a bit. Okay, so those are all of the MAC Glamour Days purchases. I didn't get anything else from that. I didn't get the sets. I just, this is what I picked up. And I would say that you could definitely forgo these lipsticks, um, even though it's sort of too late. But the blushes are awesome. So I, I definitely rave about the blushes. And then also this is amazing. So that was MAC. All right, where do we start now? Let's do Ulta. So Ulta, um, actually let's do Body Shop first because the Body Shop bag's in Ulta. I picked up two things at Body Shop and I haven't been in there for ages. Uh, I've been using the Body Butters, but I grab them at my JCPenney Sephora. Um, but I got the Cocoa Butter Lip Care Stick. So this was a recommendation from my friend Rachel, Makeup Never Sleeps. She loves this. And trust me, Rachel is so picky. You guys probably know from watching her videos. She is so particular about everything, really, that she puts on her face. Um, from her makeup to her eyeshadow to mascara. She's knowledgeable about makeup. She's really knowledgeable about ingredients. So she just likes the cream of the crop, the best of the best when it comes to makeup, skincare, lipstick, lip gloss. So I always really trust her opinion. So when she said that she loved this, I had to get it. I don't like any, there's not many chapsticks I like, and I'll get into something that I really do like in a bit. But there's not many of these stick chapsticks that I like from the drugstore. I don't really love the EOS. I don't love Burt's Bees. I don't think any of that stuff really works well. Um, I've recently had the fresh samples, and I really don't even think they penetrate into my lips and help that much so I had to try this since she said she liked it and I love it so they're eight dollars they're a little pricier for when it comes to actual lip gloss or or lipstick or chapstick rather um so they are pricier but I would say 100% go try this it's awesome it's sort of cushiony on your lips it penetrates the lips, um, it's fine underneath lipstick. Even if you put it on, then blot it off. This is awesome. And I actually got buy one, get one free because I had, they gave me like a 50% off coupon. So I got two of them, one to keep in my purse and then one to keep in my bed, but one's just still in the bag and the other one's in my makeup bag. So 
definitely recommend that. So thank you so much, Rachel. I am so glad you discovered that. Rachel is actually allergic, I think, to lanolin. So if anyone is allergic to lanolin, that would be a go-to for you. Now at Ulta, I went with a purpose in mind and I had to buy backups of four different things. Definitely holy grail things to me. Definitely things I can't be without. I noticed that I was without them when I, I ran out and I couldn't get them for a little while and I just, I noticed and I just had it. I went, I want to say last Friday, I think after work and I bought everything I needed. So the first three things are all Enjoy products and these are all repurchases. Enjoy hair care. I love it. It's holy grail to me. I think that it has been imperative in my hair growing in the past year. My hair has grown a lot. It's really regained health and, um, you know, just length and health and everything. And I have been without the Enjoy for, I want to say, at least a month, month and a half. And I've noticed. I have so noticed that I've been without it. And I couldn't go one more wash without having this stuff. So what I get is the Enjoy Sulfate Free Shampoo. And I know I've talked to you guys bef before about this, but this is a luxury shampoo. Um, the conditioner I use is actually their hair mask, which I use because I only wash my hair once to twice a week. So I can use a mask when I do do the conditioner. And then I love their conditioning spray. So definitely I recommend all of these things. The only thing I'm going to say is that if your hair isn't damaged, if you don't process it, if it's not, if you don't have breakage, you know, if it's finer or thin, I wouldn't suggest necessarily, at least the, the mask I wouldn't suggest. Maybe I'd venture to even say the conditioning spray would probably be okay. I just think that these are products for, they're a little bit heavier. They weigh down my hair a little bit. Um, I don't know. It's, I just noticed when I was without them that my hair wasn't as soft. It wasn't as manageable. I just, I love them so much, but I don't think that they're necessarily great for thin or fine hair. So that's my warning to you. They sell little samples of them at Trade Secret. I would try a sample before you really invested. Um, the next thing that I went to Ulta for is something that I haven't talked to you guys about. I'll talk about it more in a favorites video. Actually, I'm going to do an October favorites, even though it's November. Um, but it's a holy grail. I will not be without this. 100% not be without this. It is a Lip Fusion um, by Fusion Beauty. And it's just the clear, I don't even know what it's called, Lip Plump Color Shine. I don't, I don't know. There's no like simple name for it. It's just their regular Lip Plumper and Clear. It is so amazing. This is what it looks like. It's not, there's an XL one and then there's this one. It's so amazing. I'm going to talk about it in a, in a favorites video. I've been using this for years and I don't know why I've never mentioned it to you. I have no idea why. In fact, I thought about it when I ran out of it. Um, I just thought, why don't I ever tell anyone about this? It's amazing. I use it before I go to bed. I use it in the morning, kind of when I'm putting on my makeup. I have no idea why I've never mentioned it before, but it's so good. So it's pricey though, and that's the only bad thing. So I'm going to say that's a downfall, but um, I don't know. I really love it, so it's worth it to me. All right, the next thing is something that my friend had ordered from me on Amazon. I had wanted this for a while, but I didn't want the whole set. So this is the Fat Girl Slimulator. It is a... I'll just show you because it's kind of hard to describe. But here it is. It's by Bliss Spa. And the reason it was ordered on Amazon was because they don't just sell this at Sephora by itself. They sell it in a set. So if you want to buy the set, in fact, I don't even know if they still sell the set anymore. It comes with the Fat Girl Slim cream, like the nighttime cream and the scrub or something. I didn't want all that. I just wanted to try this at first. But what this is, is it boosts the circulation in your body. So when you're in the shower and you put your lotion or you put your um, cream cleanser on or whatever you're putting on your body, your oil, I, I don't know, whatever you do in the shower, um, you take this and you kind of rub and get the circulation going in areas that you have lumpiness or cellulite um, or any type of, you can use it anywhere really because it's supposed to, these little nubs are kind of hard but they're kind of squishy but it builds this or it gets the circulation going. So I wanted this because as I, let's just say it, as I get older, I've noticed that I have a little bit of, um, like on my backside a little, not my backside really, kind of like where your saddlebags would be, 
like a little bit of bumpiness and I'm not down with that but there's nothing you can do about it I actually think it's hereditary um, even like the skinniest people you can be thick straight skinny and still have some uneven skin tone or uh, cellulite so I've noticed as you know hit that 27th birthday and I looked at my thighs one day and I'm like wait a minute I I don't remember that being there before but um yeah I figured I'm gonna try that and see how I like it I do need to start working out more though I think that would help matters but for now I'm gonna try this and it's always good to do like certain massages all over your body really to get your to get your uh, blood flowing and create circulation and kind of get toxins emptied out and all that stuff so we'll try this I'll keep you up to date on my saddlebags so how's that sound <laughs> okay that was the bliss slimulator and then the last uh, the last little box I have here is some random stuff plus my Sephora friends and family so the first thing I grabbed last night I scored this I'm so excited about it because I wasn't able to find it and my friend Jess loves it and it is the refined russet by Maybelline it's the lipstick that came out with their fall collection so Jess is Gemma Jerica on here it's kind of a brown, it is like a russet color, almost like a raisiny, tawny, I don't know. It's really pretty. So I love this for fall. I got the last one. A lot of the displays are already down, but I would say check CVS because that's where I found it. Rite Aid seemed to have all of the displays down already. So that is that. And then the next thing I got was my friend Julie, thank God. She got me... Um, or she had called in two more of these argan oils for me. So I get these by, I get these two at a time because I go through them like water. But Agadir argan oil, another holy grail thing. Can't live without it. I've preached about it before. Uh, not much to say. It's just a spray oil. I use it. If I go to bed with my hair wet, I use it. Um, I spray it on and then go to bed with the hair wet. And then it, I wake up and it's pretty soft and manageable to straighten. I use it before I hot uh, or flat iron or use any hot stuff on my hair. I love this. So that's the Agadir. Um, what else isn't Sephora? Okay, the next thing is foundation. This is my current HD foundation as of actually since May. So I've been using it for a really long time. Smashbox Studio Skin uh, 15 Hour Wear. It's called a hydrating foundation. And even though I'm oily, it's oil free, but it doesn't make you look dry. So it's a heavy, medium to full coverage. It's buildable. But I want to just give this sh this a shout out because I didn't purchase this. My friend um, Let on here actually sent it to me. So Let's screen name is Let76. I don't know if you guys are subscribed to her. I'm sure that you are because we did a big giveaway together. Um, but for any new subscribers that maybe came after that giveaway, I would definitely suggest subscribing to Let. She's amazing. She's such a good makeup artist. She works at Sephora. And so she always has the best stuff and she just has the most talented I want to say the Instagram pictures that she posts especially I'm channeling like some of the Halloween looks that she was doing so good so I definitely say um to subscribe to let but let send this to me she said it was way too dark for her and it's a 3.2 shade and she had asked me one day what I wore and I told her this was a shade and she's like oh my gosh that's the one that I have if you um if you want I can send it to you it's definitely too dark for me so thank you so much that she sent me this and uh two skincare samples but I wanted to say thank you and I also wanted to show you guys that this is my number one foundation right now so thank you let um the next couple things that aren't Sephora are the La Mercier Baby Lips, and this is, I can't remember if I showed you guys this, so I'm going to show you again, but this is the Baby Lips Lip Pencil, and it's just a light pink, can't see it, awesome, whatever, it's, it's really good, I like it a lot, so I love that lip pencil, and then I bought into the hype of this Dior Sparkling Beige, and I really like it, it's pretty, I want to say that if you are my skin tone, so if you're like a medium skin tone to if you have tan or self tan or any of that, uh, this is it sort of blends in with my skin so it's not real distinct or not as distinct as it is on some other people on YouTube. I know Lisa Lisa D1 loves it, um, the Flower Bomb loves it, uh, who else just talked about it, Jan, Couture Mama NYC, um, yeah there's a bunch of people that really like it. But just because it kind of is that beige color, it blends in a little bit more with my skin when I try to overline, so it's not real distinct. But I do like it. 
as for like a natural lip. I wore it all day today with Innocence Beware and it looked really pretty. Um, another rave that I have is a lipstick that I purchased and this is the Bobbi Brown Creamy Matte Lip Color. Holy crap, I am obsessed with this. I'm wearing this right now. You guys can't see because the lighting stinks, but this is in the color Pale Peach and this is their newest formula of lip colors. Um, MM and L, my one of my favorite channels on YouTube, um, they talked about this, or at least Michelle talked about it, and I wanted to check out. She didn't talk about this color though, I don't think. I wanted to check out the formula, and it is so pigmented, long wearing. It's just a dream. So I hope they come out with more colors. There are other ones that I liked, um, but there wasn't like a. I would like a kind of pale peachy pink, and they didn't have that, but. I loved this actual just peach color. So I've been wearing that a lot, even though it's peach. Might be a little more towards, or lean towards summer, but I don't think so. I love it. Okay, tretinoin. I got a new tube of tretinoin cream, which is retin A. I went with a 0 .05 this time, so I'm going to try to get back into it. What I had before was the 0 .1. I'd asked you guys what percentage you use, and a lot of people said 0 .05. The problem I was starting to have with the point one is after I use it for a little while, I love what it does on my skin. I'm obsessed with it. But I was getting, like at the time I was getting headaches and I didn't know if it was correlation between the Retin-A and headaches or if it was just the time of the year or, you know, outside factors. So I got a little bit kind of weird and I stopped using it and I thought maybe I'll try again with the, um, with the lower percentage. So let me got, let me know if you guys have ever experienced that. Have Do you use Retin-A? And if so, have you ever had a side effect like any type of headache or anything like that? Which is kind of weird, but I'm, I'm just curious because it could have been coincidence or I don't know if that's a, if that's a side effect or not. So that is a question that I have for you. And last but not least, let me show you my Sephora haul from friends and family. I was so thankful to have friends who had given me a code to the Sephora friends and family sale. And I'm going to show you guys everything that I did end up purchasing from that sale. So the first thing I got was an uh, hourglass hidden concealer in warm. I'm not going to take this out of the package. You guys have seen it before. I've talked about it before. I ran out of it and I love it. So this is definitely something that is holy grail to me also, which as you can see, I've done a lot of repurchases, but I would like it to try the clay de peau, but it's so pricey that I can't justify that right now. So I picked this one up. I repurchased it. It's still pricey. It's not the cheapest concealer, but it works like a dream over top of my Armani corrector. And the next thing that I got was fresh soy face cleanser. This is for all skin types. I wanted to mention this to you when I was talking about this Shiseido earlier. Um, this is the thing that I was telling you I would talk about later. I have loved this. I got a deluxe sample. I got small samples. I breezed through them all. It gets my eye makeup off really well. It's just a nice, gentle cleanser. Um, this is another great pre-cleanser before I actually do my Obagi. I'm looking at the Obagi if you see me looking over there. This is a great pre-cleanser to do before I do my Obagi salicylic cleanser. So I love this. It's really pricey though. So I ended up getting the smaller size. I think this was $19 as opposed to 35 for the full size. So yeah, I have enough cleansers right now that I could kind of get the smaller size and be okay. And lastly, what I use and I always use when I have a Sephora coupon is, um, I use it for perfume. So I got Coco Chanel and this is just the original Coco. It's the perfume. For some reason, Sephora doesn't sell 3.4 ounces. I don't know why. This is 1.7. So I always like to buy the biggest size in perfume because I think you get the most bang for your buck, but they don't sell it. So I was really surprised. They don't have it in store or on the website. So I ended up just getting the 1.7 ounce, but it is a very strong fragrance. And I think it's really, um, it's very sophisticated. I smelled it a long time ago when I started wearing Coco Mademoiselle. And this was just, I thought it was like old lady. You know, when you say that, like, oh, that's an old lady scent. Um, or that's like a grandma scent. But... I don't know what happened, but as in the past year, I've grown into loving this, and I don't know. I had to get it because I love all Chanel perfumes, and this was just sort of a more sophisticated, mature scent for me. I think it mixes really well with Coco Mademoiselle. It's really beautiful on its own, and this is just something that's a very fall, winter, sophisticated, and uh, sexy fragrance. I just think it's really, really sexy, and yeah. I love it. So that's what I got. 
But I am so sorry this haul has been so long with the lighting being this bad. But I missed you guys and I wanted to show you everything so I could actually put it all away. So hopefully it was all right, it was bearable, and you got some good ideas for stuff. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'm going to link everything below. Um, my Twitter, of course, my Facebook, and my Instagram. I think I'm most active on Instagram and Twitter. So I will let you guys go. So have a great night. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.